Jeremy Corbyn, can he really save Brexit? I think he would like Boris Johnson to take us out of the European Union and then go for an election after that. So he can say nothing to do with me, Gov. He hopes it will all go wrong, whereas it's going to be a tremendous success. And then he can come in and try and get elected on the back of that. I think this is all gamesmanship. By Who do you think would be the best leader of the Labour Party if not to Jeremy Corbyn? I don't think there is a serious candidate who wants to be leader of the Labour Party at the moment. It's a mess. They are absolutely all over the place. I can't see one emerging. If Jeremy Corbyn goes, we could end up with John McDonald. And do you know what? Dangerous. Do you know what? Dangerous. That is even yeah. worse than Jeremy yeah. Corbyn. <laughs> Jeremy <laughs> Corbyn yeah. is a Brexiteer. I was right. in the House of Commons with him for a very long time. Every vote he was against Europe. You know why? Because Europe will stop him with his socialist plans to subsidise, subsidise, subsidise. That's what he yeah. wants to do. Mandy. Jeremy Corbyn doesn't want to leave the EU, but he does want to be Prime Minister, yeah. even if it's for a day. <laughs> even and if it's like for Boris. a day? Even if it's for a day. And he, he could it, do a lot of damage in a day. He could do or a lot Boris. of damage. <laughs> if he's Prime Minister for a day, he will want to go to the EU and, and try and postpone Brexit in order that he's, he's Prime Minister and he can then bring about a general election. For my money, any Tory MP, even the Remainers, if they would back... Corbyn to be PM, even for a day when he's a Marxist anti Semite. He just wants to be Prime right. Minister. Uh, Mandy, can I ask you one thing? Yes. Could you not hold back so much? Just tell us what you think. <laughs> that'd be fine. Uh, it's like going into the negotiating table, you know, playing Belgian roulette. Every single chamber is loaded. I'm putting a gun to your head. If you don't give me a deal, I'll blow my brains out. That's what we're doing at the moment. And it is insane. Jerry, I I was in that negotiating room. I was sitting opposite Michel Barnier and his crew when we had that excellent Secretary of State, Dominic Raab, there, who asked the questions and laid the challenges that Theresa May, frankly, never did. And I can tell you this, they didn't believe for a minute we were going to leave. It was not on the table, Mm. as far as they were concerned, that that, that we were serious about leaving. Even now... Even with Boris having made it clear we're coming out on the 31st of October, there's so many not. over there, so many over there who think Parliament can still yeah. stop it. I am now a rabid Brexiteer. I think if we left tomorrow, it would actually show the European Parliament that we're not going to be messed about. We're not going to be treated like some tin oh. pot country. Oh. We are going to get oh. out. They will have to do a deal with us because we are the fifth biggest economy of the world. (laughs) Victoria has said on Twitter, didn't Lenin seize power like this? Then look what happened. I'm not quite sure you've got that right, Victoria, (laughs) but but, but I see your point. And Susan has also said on Twitter, she says, it's not going to happen, James. Boris has fought hard for this and he will not cave in under any circumstance. Boris will come through and lead us out of this, I'm sure. He would never let that Marxist in through the back door. Parliament has not got the taste for a no-deal Brexit. It is not going to go through. We are going to leave on the 31st. We're not going to leave on the 31st. The, Parliament the won't allow it to Man, happen. Man. That's but, what but you guys have, fought ha- for. No, you'd have to have, a, a, you'd have, to have you, Boris lose a, a vote of no confidence, and that's not going to happen. No, yes, because it, Jer- it, it no, could Jeremy happen. Jeremy Corbyn will no, insist it's it him, and mis- he will not be able to, to command the House. misunderstand constitutional law. The fact of the matter Nobody is... Nobody understands constitutional law. Well, let me do it now, and I won't even charge you. Right. What did I say? I'm not going to charge you. Look, let me do it. Hang on, hang, on, hang on. Why on earth do you think that the voice of the people, and, and I voted to remain, oh, yeah. but now I've changed my mind, yeah. the majority of people in this country yeah. want to leave. Yeah. What is democratic about the elected representatives the, trying the to elected, say no? You see, this the is where everyone is getting it wrong. They're trying no, to go against no, the public. No, no. Yes. All we're saying is not that Brexit should be abandoned. I think it should go ahead. I would fight for it to go ahead because we live in a democracy. There has so now been a conflation. You wanted to raise a deal No, 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 no. There is a conflation but between... But supposing all... they don't want to agree a deal. Are we they just want gonna... to agree a deal. Well, we it want might not be OK with us. sorted. The country wants, wants to get it sorted. There was no People's talk of a deal jobs. in the referendum. It was, do you want to stay in the European Union or do you want to leave? There was plenty of talk about a deal. Leave? Every single candidate... Not every single candidate, because there weren't candidates. David Cameron said... David Cameron said this is a once-in-a-lifetime yes, vote. he did. In or out, 
No yes. argument. And if the people of this country vote yes. to leave, that is what we want. Everyone wanted a deal. No, no, Tosh, this is Tosh. You're rewriting history. You are not rewriting history. You are not a mind reader on this. The decision has to be respected. But the wheels mustn't come off the economy in so doing. I don't want to stop Brexit. Neither does Philip Hammond. Do neither does. Yes, say, he does. Don't, don't, but this is nonsense. We Philip want to Hammond stop a to no stop Brexit. deal Brexit, Philip which Hammond will destroy the economy. That's what the Bank of England says. That's what every economist well, says. Well, that's right. what the so, monetary hang on, hang on. fund says. In that's that, what every expert calm, says. Calm, but calm, these guys never calm, calm, right, calm down. All right, calm down. Not every expert says that. Your heart just calm down. Casting off the red tape and reclaiming our fish. Still like Belgian chocolates because they're really delish. Sending out a message to our EU friends. Still exporting vax, importing Mercedes Benz. Still good friends with Europe outside of the EU. If you voted Remain, you just haven't a clue. We voted Leave, so you better get this party started. We voted Leave, so you better get this party started. Democracy is precious, far too precious to lose. For us, of us, buyers is what we need to choose. Donald Tusk is freaking cause we voted leave fast. Tell him, Mr. Yonker, you'll be kissing my ass. United States of Europe is not where we belong. But we're good friends and neighbors, so we'll still get along. Uh, well, we'll start off with L. Dave, who says Ginger Spice has had a hard life. <laughs> oh! oh, oh, oh. Uh, Fiona Earnshaw, she says that Jerry Halliwell is back as a solo artist again, I see. Uh, Tom F. on Facebook says, it's a no from me, Simon. And uh, Rook, Rook Wilson says, the lyrics are ace. Don't know about the singing. <laughs> Our next Eurovision Song Contest entry. It was that bad. <laughs> I tell you, if, if that was so the next cruel. Eurovision Song Contest, cruel. I reckon nice. we'd win. Yep. Can I make a point? Because you said in that, I, I, I love Europe. I love going to Europe. I love European pe people of different cultures. Um, but like most Europeans now, I've realised that the European Union is just completely out of control and not democratic. It is. And we need to lead the oh way with a new development. It's just a supranational government. Oh you love the people, God. you love the countries, oh. you love everything. Oh. That's why millions of Brits go there yeah. on holiday. But just exactly. a moment. Shall we just listen Mr. to Yorker. a Remainer, yes. Mr. Jerry Hayes? Yes. Yes. Mr. Juncker is actually democratically elected by the European Parliament. Who can actually get rid of him and the commission. Even Juncker said the election of the new one a month ago yeah. was the pretty undemocratic and the end of the end. process. Who voted yeah. for the foreign that's secretary? That's what made me foreign change foreign my mind. It's quite the right. way well we done, elect James. our cabinet. Anyway, Sean, Gosh. do you want to uh, reply to Jerry Hayes over here? I mean, well, he honestly. Wants to, well. He wants to you know, no. Be nice to no. Boris, doesn't he? No, look, he's got to be, he's <laughs> got to be a lawyer. No, 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 hold, on, hold, on, hold on, hold on. My job, on. Is, my job is not to be nice to Boris. My job is to represent the people of London. Yeah, I've yeah, done, yeah. It, I've done it all the time. They if, voted for me. More sure. people voted to leave than voted for Khan, if you want to put it that way. The point is this. Right? If you're involved in politics, oh, you have to be able to represent people who don't share your view. And the, and the thing I find when I talk to Londoners, the thing they're most interested about, what? housing, crime, transport. They don't talk to me about Europe. They talk to me about our future. They want to know. They want to know know what we're going to do next and how I'm planning to keep them safe. Well said. Uh, Steve Coogan escaped a driving uh, ban uh, because he's a celebrity. Oh, that's ridiculous. And it's not true. I disagree with that summary of it. Go right? on. And I'm going to declare that was it. Oh, I have used that defence he used myself. Well, you're a celebrity. You're <laughs> a celebrity. <laughs> Boys own no. Mr. Boys own. No, 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 very good. For a, a Z list, I wouldn't even be a Z list. I have used the defence that he used, which is exceptional hardship. And you can use that, Jerry, as you know, when you go in there. No, now, we it, get a the reason... No, no, no. He because, drives himself because, to the set, does he? Because yeah, what, what he's actually pointing out, he made the case. It's up to the court to decide whether the case is, is right. Yeah. But it is a legitimate defence. Of course it in is. In my case, I had to prove that it would cause uh, not exceptional financial hardship, but hardship to complete a job. Well, so you ran it. You about. ran it. So, so, so I ran that defence and I got that defence. It's perfectly it. legitimate. It is a it's legitimate... A legitimate 
in a defence. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. have a barrister here who's on my side. This is well, maybe it's true. Maybe it's time to change the law. And I don't believe it was because he's a celebrity that they gave granted him that. It's because I think they managed to convince the court that a lot of people would not be employed because they wouldn't go ahead with the film. Believe that or not. Geta Thunberg, the young girl who is going to cross the Atlantic or is in the process of crossing the Atlantic uh, to bring and highlight climate change uh, so we can all do something about it. Uh, isn't she the most annoying person in the news at the moment? Now, if you say that, everybody gets really upset on social media and says, how can you talk about a 16-year-old like that? Well, quite easy, it just came out of my mouth. Uh, Mandy, what do you think? I think she should be in school. I think she should be in school getting an education. Let her do p- speeches in her country, you know, at the weekends, if that's something she feels passionate about. Some people will say you're bullying her saying things like that and that it's you're not being very her. respectful. No, she's, she should be in school. How old is she? 15? 16. 16. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, she should still be in school. Jerry and I were out in the mines at people 16. Should, yeah. People yeah. should be in school till they're 30, but, to be honest. But, she uh, should definitely <laughs> be in school. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I, don't, I don't know why uh, people are getting so upset about it. I mean, look, we bunked off school for different reasons, didn't we? It was down the cinema, you know, go for a smoke I or whatever wonder it was. What happened you to you, done. Nick. Uh, yeah, yeah. So, you so, so she is bunking off school, but she's actually doing something that I think is, is you know, is it really actually passionate. going to make any difference? Well, probably no, not. No, I mean, there's a lot of there's not. a lot of like a virtue signaling going on with you. Oh. I'm not saying I'm a mm. huge fan of what's going on, but actually, I don't know why people are getting so angry or upset with her uh, because she's doing this. The fact of the matter is. She's kind of really going for it. Let her go for it. It's not doing any harm. She might even do All some right. good. OK. Uh, Ricky's a young person, should be in school. He's not 35 <laughs> yet. Uh, Ricky, what do you think? <laughs> well, I, I don't, honestly, I have no idea how people think it's acceptable. I actually, James, I'm surprised by you. How many times we've covered this story in the news about young people being bullied online? If I said to you there's a 16-year-old girl who's autistic, it doesn't matter what the, the, the context is, there's a 16 year old girl that everyone is just bullying willy nilly and no one seems well, to care is, about what it. What is, in your view, bullying? Is bullying when you take a different view? Because if you're going to go into the media and make statements, you must expect people to come back with a different point of view. I don't think that's bullying. We're going to talk about the TV license now, if that is okay with you. I think the TV license is a thing of the past or should be a thing of the past. I think we should all be free to choose which channels we want. If we want to watch the TV, we don't want to watch the BBC, we don't, shouldn't have mm. to pay for it. The BBC is no longer impartial, in my opinion. Oh, no. I think they've got a left-wing ag- agenda. Oh. I think they've got a very... Every single programme you watch seems to have some sort of left-wing agenda <laughs> attached to it. It irritates me to the stage where I think I could, don't want to watch it anymore. We turn it off when they start on with their left-wing right. stuff. Um, but we have allowed the BBC to get so massive, haven't we? It's well, almost uncontrollable. They're also incredibly stupid, and I realise this is now... Well, that's the end of your career on the BBC. On the BBC. <laughs> but yeah. look, the, they have just learned <laughs> that the average age of their audience is 61, hmm. and hardly any... Well, a lot less people under 45 are watching. Yeah. They're all going to Netflix. So what do they do? They abolish the free TV licence, yes. give themselves big pay rise, and they're just attacking the remainder of their audience. How I mean, can they justify so the sort of pay rises that they have just given? Well, the, the point is they don't have to justify. Exactly. Is it acceptable, though, for us to all to pay, what is it, 150 quid or so licence fee uh, to them, and then they go off with a commercial arm, they make programmes, sell them abroad, and we actually are funding that. Maybe we are shareholders and we should be actually given some money back. And as long as that money is being tipped back into the BBC to lower the cost that we have to all tip in in the first yeah. place, I'd, I'd, I'd say yes, largely. But I, that I do have a problem with the massive pay rises. No, nobody I'm, else in the public sector no. can get them, and certainly nobody in the private sector. You know, workers, normal people who have to make ends meet are getting that kind of pay rise. And I think it's actions like that that put the BBC under scrutiny. It's never I real shall money be, when it's taxpayers' uh, money. Uh, just before yeah. you talk, I shall Quite be applying right. for the job of Director General of the yeah. BBC yeah. when yeah. it comes. Don't hold your breath. Offered you a prime time show, you'd be there like a rat up a drain pipe. No, wouldn't you? Yes, no, you I'm would. Not, oh, yes, no, you I wouldn't. would. I wouldn't. You would. Let's see if they do it.